Combating electric car fires, it's a trend we've noticed in Arizona in recent months. Oftentimes, it's the batteries that catch fire, but putting out the fires is not an easy task. Tonight, Avondale Fire and Medical giving us a look at a new device they say can get closer to those fires and put them out more quickly. Here's Ford Hatchet. The EVs are not really new to America or anywhere in the world, but what we're seeing now is more and more of them. With more electric cars on the road, local fire departments are seeing more cases of EV fires, including electric semi-trucks catching fire at a Phoenix facility earlier this year. We've been looking for a solution. Now Avondale Fire and Medical hopes they've found one in the Rosenbauer Best Unit. Battery extinguishing system technology. During testing, these aluminum plates simulate the density of an EV battery shell. The Best system actually punctures the shell, allowing gallons of water to rush in and put out the fire. But you don't have to take my word for it. It's very simple, it's very efficient. You see as the firefighters train on this, it kind of becomes like a NASCAR pit crew where they're just, everybody's got a position, they slide in, they've got a job. The job starts with firefighters getting the equipment in position, setting up the control unit powered by the same air tanks already on trucks, and sliding the best unit in position under the EV. Once the hoses are connected and air pressure provided, the firefighting can begin, all with the flip of a switch. In the past, what we've seen is fires take five, six, seven hours and thousands of gallons of water. What we've designed is a system that takes somewhere between 15 and 45 minutes, usually closer to the 15 minute mark, uses about 500 gallons of water. We're told the water shoots out at eight gallons a minute. Flood the fire, take out all of the oxygen, stop that burning process. And is able to reach the fire source in a way traditional firefighting methods can't. Here's a look from underneath the car. The system normally costs about $30,000, but the pilot program is no cost to the department, which is hoping the technology can pay big dividends. There's a potential here to stop the EV fire, especially inside garages before it extends inside the house. Avondale Fire and Medical is hoping to wrap up training and have the system on their trucks in a month. In Avondale, Fort Hatchet, ABC 15, Arizona.